guys, today is Friday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. It's Friday. I hope you all have something fun planned for the weekend, all right? I hope it's not gonna rain, and I hope that it's not too chilly. I was in, where was I? It was either Lowe's or Home Depot, guys, and I see they're putting out all the spring cleaning stuff, so maybe they know something that we don't know. Maybe spring is going to pay us a visit this year um, a little earlier than usual, let us hope. But today's video. Today, guys, we are talking about why your home isn't as amazing as those homes that you look to Instagram for. You know, do you ever find yourself on Instagram looking at the home decor pages and ever thinking or wondering to yourself, Man, why doesn't my home look like that? Why doesn't my family room look that way? Or why can't I get my master bedroom to look like the one that you're looking at, all right? So we all look to these different places, Instagram, YouTube, for inspiration, or at least I know I do when I'm trying to, you know, reconfigure a certain area in my home. And so sometimes, you know, as we all tend to do in different facets of our life, we tend to look at what someone else is doing and try to emulate that or ask ourselves, why can't I get it right, all right? So today I am here to help, all right? Not on all fronts, but just the home decor and home area, all right? So I want to share with you eight reasons, guys, why your home doesn't look as amazing as it could. Simple fixes. All right, so the first reason, guys, why your home does not look as amazing as those home inspiration catalogs or the homes that you see on Instagram is because of these eight little things. All right, the first one, guys, is going to be located in your closet. All right, go to your closet, guys. We're just thinking about, think about your closet right now if you're not in a position to go take a look um, physically inside your closet. But do you have any of those ugly, rusty wire hangers that we all get from the cleaners? Yes, they are free hangers. And we don't typically, as people, want to throw out or give away free things, right? But Guys, they are not going to be as aesthetically pleasing as the closets that you see here on YouTube, the closets that you see on Instagram, the closets that you see on HGTV, everybody's favorite HGTV. Let me know if you've ever seen one of those inspiration houses on HGTV that they're giving away with wire hangers in the closet. We got to get away from those wire hangers, guys. And right now, the hangers are so cheap cheap. The colored plastic hangers, they're not my favorite. However, I do use a few of them here in the closets here in my home. I think I do sporadically if I do, but they come in so many pretty colors. Now you can coordinate those hangers with the decor of your room, the decor. If you have a closet that you've designated as a closet room, you can coordinate those colored hanger hangers to, you know, match that space. But the wire hangers, I think we're going to have to let them go. You're never going to have that closet, that closet room that really measures up to the ones that you see in the inspiration homes that you kind of swoon over again on Instagram, even on Pinterest. If you have the wire hangers, no one is saying, yes, go out, get your wire hangers from the cleaners and just keep them, stack your closet, fill your closet with wire hangers, all right? so that's to be number one get rid of the wire hangers and at least that little space will start to look more like those inspiration spaces that you've been looking at while we are here in our closet we were just talking about the hangers in our closet let's move to our sock drawer sock drawer <laughs> do you all have sock drawers you have a drawer that's just specifically allocated for your socks i know i do just about everybody that i know has a sock drawer so let me know if you have a sock drawer and so if you have a sock drawer guys think about it are there any socks in said sock drawer that are missing the mate okay uh, do you have any socks in that sock drawer that are just beyond fuzzy? You know, it's winter and we love our fuzzy socks, but do you have any that are just like, you know you're not gonna wear those outside. Why do you still have those? You know, the thick socks that you wear with your boots, but you 
you would be really embarrassed if anyone outside of your home saw those socks, all right? Why are you holding on to those? Also, do you have any socks in your sock drawer with holes in them? You're just skipping over that pair and looking, rummaging through, trying to find a good pair. All of your socks should be good socks. Rummaging through your sock drawer, and I am really sorry about this glare, but I am not mad about this sun, guys. It's so cold in Atlanta right now, so let me just catch these, this vitamin D. Let me catch those rays, all right? But nothing in your sock drawer. You shouldn't have any socks in your sock drawer that you're having to scoot over um, and move out of the way so that you can find the good ones. All the socks in your sock drawer should be great socks. You shouldn't have anything in your sock drawer that is created, creating undue um, chaos and clutter. It makes us, like, you know, if we're in a hurry, you know, it slows us down and it just takes away, I think, from the positive energy, the positive experience of, you know, getting dressed. As ladies, we should really enjoy, you know, putting on our makeup and getting dressed and we shouldn't have to become frustrated with, you know, finding a matching sock. So, so if you're trying to get your house to be that inspiration home, we have to start to chip away at the little things. You know, some of you are probably thinking, what, your sock drawer? No, but guys, it's the little things. You cannot work on the big items that are cluttering up your life and making your home not as inspirational and as amazing as you would like for it to be if you haven't start to chip away at the little things. You know, it's a process, you know, there's levels to it. We gotta start here at the bottom and work our way up. So let's go ahead and clean out that sock drawer here in 2019. All right. So we are still in our closet, guys. All right, we did the wire hangers. Please get rid of those. <laughs> get rid of the socks that have no mate. You know, it's not gonna miraculously turn up one day. It's gone, girl. Get rid of those socks. Get rid of the socks with the holes. We're too old to be wearing, you know, socks with our big toes hanging out. And also, clothes that don't fit. Um, I've been guilty. I've been guilty of hanging on to clothes that no longer fit, but you guys will recall that I have had two Poshmark updates. So now I just get rid of it. I just get rid of it. A lot of the things that are in really good condition, I go and let those things be positive in someone else's lives because all they're doing is making me feel bad about myself because I know I can't get these thighs in them anymore so I give it up all right and so when I walk into my closet I want to only have positive associations with my clothing so if we're hanging on to clothes that don't fit I don't know how that's gonna make us feel good about ourselves I don't know how that's going to make us feel like our space is amazing if we are having negative associations with clothes that we you know, could wear 10 years ago, but we've had kids and, you know, we're older, so they're just not going to fit. fit. So I say as we leave the closet here now, we're going to leave the closet and go talk about some other things, but let's get rid of those hangers. Let's get rid of those socks and just those, you know, those jeans. And then some of the jeans don't have stretch. I'm telling you, I'm not wearing any jeans that don't have stretch because those hard, rigid, rough jeans, they, they mean me no good at this point in my life. So I'm not holding on to them anymore. More. you know get rid of those jeans those shoes those button-down shirts you know I've told you guys I have my issues with button-down shirts so I'm not going to hold on to a shirt that when I pop put it on you know the, the button is holding on to that last little string for dear life let it go so that you can get rid of that clutter in that particular space in your home and just have positive associations with your closet all right, so next up, so we've left our closets, all right? So um, let's talk about our linens right now. If you were to have a family member, a friend come into town right now and they needed some place to stay, would you have adequate linens to place on your guest bedroom bed for said house guest, all right? You think you do because your linen closet is filled with sheets and blankets and comforters. But as you go in, guys, let me know. Let, let's sound off in the comments. How many of you in the comments have uh, fitted sheets that are stretched out so much 
that the rubber will not hug the corners of the bed anymore. Toss them out or maybe use them for little painting projects. Painting tarps, they do make good tarps for painting. Um, but they shouldn't be stored in your linen closet. Those should be somewhere in your little craft space. But don't keep your old sheets, you know, don't keep blankets with or comforters with holes in them so that when your guests come over at the last minute, you're putting them on your bed and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't let my family, my friends use this blanket. But it was in there holding space. You gotta clear it out. That way when you're walking into your uh, linen closet or wherever you keep your linens and you're doing like an inventory of what you have, you will clearly see that, oh my gosh, my supply of fitted sheets, my supply of blankets or comforters, they're really, really low. I know that this is the season where I'm going to have people in, in town. You guys know here in Atlanta, the Super Bowl is just a few short weeks away. The influx of people that will be here in the coming weeks is going to be just unbelievable. So if you're watching, you're in Atlanta and you have guests coming in, go ahead girls, take a look at your linen closet and make sure you don't have old sheets and blankets and things in there that you know you need to go ahead and toss because you don't want to get caught and have to either run out at the last minute or have to let your guests sleep you know, on linens that have holes in them because I'm telling you, they're gonna talk about you, okay? You will hear about it. All right, and so while we are talking about house guests, what about your pillows? What about your pillows that are on your guest bedroom bed? You guys aren't just taking the old pillows off of your beds and then putting them on the guest bedroom bed, are you? You know? When you get rid of your pillows on the master bed, you probably need to go ahead and toss those. I wouldn't let those be the hand-me-downs for my guests. Mm -mm, don't do that. Your guests deserve better than that. You know, you want to leave a great impression with your house guests. So again, with the clutter, don't just stack old things you know, that you know you wouldn't want to sleep on if you were to go to a friend or family member's house. So let's treat our guests the way we want to be treated. So I say, go ahead, toss the old thin yellow pillows. Although I do have a video that shares with you um, where I share with you how you can get those old yellow pillows white again if they really, really sleep good. But again, I wouldn't give those to my guests. Those are just for me. I know that, you know, I am like the princess in the pea. When I get my pillow conformed to this head, I, I need to stick with it for a while. But even when I'm done with them, I wouldn't give those to my guests. All right. I would get some new pillows for, the, for them. And you know, pillows, they're not, you know, terribly expensive and you'll probably have them for a while unless you have a permanent house guest. And I don't want a permanent house guest. I'm not sure about you guys, but yeah, don't keep old things in your house. Again, you want positive associations with your rooms. Again, when you are watching HGTV, they're showing the inspiration homes. I would love to win one of those little giveaways one day. Oh, I love them. those homes. Oh, they're so nice, but you never see them with old flat pillows in the guest bedroom beds. So let's not do that either. <laughs> All right, guys, I think this is the last one. I think that was eight. All right, this last one is going to be, can be found over in your kitchen. All right, so we have guests here at the house. They're in there, they're feeling free, they're moseying around your house, they're staying for a while, you know them, so it's mi casa su casa, right? So you don't want them going into the cabinet and there's um, just missing pieces to your dishware, you know? If you have a cup, bowl, plate set, you want it to all be there, you know? You don't want them to, you know, go into your, your cabinets and there's just, a host of different colored bowls and cups in there. I think I may have shared this one before, but you want positive associations here again with every area of your home. You don't want there to be any little missteps. So I think that's a simple one. You know, the, the Tupperware is one that I kind of fight with here in my home. It's like, you have just all these different, I know, let me speak personally, I have all these plastic containers, but where are the lids? Or I'll have all of these lids, but where are the containers? I don't know if there's a plastic container fairy that comes along and says, you know what, Tan, 
this one has served you well it's time to take it on now but if you're gonna do that fairy take the lid and the container don't leave me one or the other so let's make sure we are going through regularly regularly and um, checking out our you know our food storage containers and making sure that everything matches up all right well that is it guys those are I believe I shared with you eight things guys that you can get rid of in your home you're never gonna miss them all right you're not going to miss that lid that doesn't have a container all right you're not gonna miss that sock with the hole in it why are we holding on to these items all right get rid of them so that you can start to have positive associations in your home so that your home can be your very own inspiration home so that when your friends your family they come over they're looking to you for tips now all right you've gotten your in for inspiration from YouTube or um, Instagram you've heated all of these you know ideas of these other people now your family your friends are coming over and they're looking to you for inspiration because it looks as if you have it all together all right let me know your thoughts down in the comments okay let me know if you had any of these items that you could really get rid of all right so right now as I think about it I probably probably could you know stand to go into my kitchen and look into my container drawer you know where I store all of my food stores containers I could probably get rid of a few of those because I know I'm missing the lid because what I what I know well I have the lid the containers I will throw out you know if you store like leftover spaghetti or something with a red sauce in one of these little containers you'll never get it out at least I that's been my experience I can never get it out so I'll just throw the container in the trash but I'll go wash the lid why what kind of sense does that make none <laughs> so I have my own little homework that I need to do but share yours below all right look forward to chatting with you guys in a little bit again have a wonderful wonderful weekend I really appreciate you guys stopping in as always and I will see you all in the next video bye guys